Welcome to Food Talk with Sharon. We are making a Valentine special dessert today. I am showing you the recipe for a single serve Oreo cheesecake. Now why a single serve? Well, it's Valentine's Day. So make it, serve it to your loved one and share it with him or her. So this is an easy, no-bake, eggless cheesecake recipe loaded with Oreo cookies. So if you are a lover of Oreo cookies, then this is a recipe you should definitely try out. The ingredients for these can be bought easily. There is one mousse ring in which we set it. So I'll also tell you from where I picked that up. So make sure you plan a little ahead and make this for your Valentine's Day dinner. So let's move on to the recipe. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please do click that tiny bell icon and turn on all notifications. A cheesecake has two parts, a base and the filling on top. Now for the base, I'm using Oreo cookies. We'll be mixing it with some butter and setting it. So let's move on to making the base for this. So the first step for this is to separate the cream and the biscuit part of the Oreo cookies. So remove it and you can put the biscuits into your mixy jar itself. You can break the cookies into smaller pieces and then let's grind it into a fine powder. Transfer this powder into a bowl and add some melted butter, mix it up properly till you can press it and set it. So you just need to add as much butter as needed to reach this stage. Now I already told you that we are making an eggless version of cheesecake. So it's an eggless version, it is not required to be baked and it doesn't need agar agar or gelatin to set. So how are we setting this? So we're using white chocolate instead. So for this, we need cream cheese first. Let's whisk the cream cheese till it's nice and soft. You have to make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. Into this, add the cream of the Oreo cookies that we had separated, melted white chocolate and vanilla essence. And whisk it all properly once again. While adding the white chocolate, you need to make sure that it's melted but at the same time not hot. So just bring down the temperature a little before you add it to the cream cheese. Into this cream cheese mixture, let's also add a few Oreo cookies. Just break it roughly into smaller pieces, add it into the cream cheese mix and mix it up properly. So we are setting the cheesecake in this ring. So this is a mousse cake ring. I've bought it from Amazon. You will find different sizes of this. This is a four inch cake ring, which has a two inch height. Now inside this, I've lined it with parchment paper. So this is done to ensure that we are able to remove the ring easily once the cheesecake sets. And to stick the parchment paper onto the ring, I've used oil. So I've taken care not to use butter or ghee because that will solidify when you leave it in the fridge and then it becomes a little difficult to pull out the ring. And since we're making a single serve, you can as well set it onto your serving plate and actually prepare it on that itself. So at the time of serving, there is no hassle of moving it onto another serving plate. At the bottom, let's press in the base for the cheesecake the cookie mix that we've prepared and then add in the cheesecake mixture on top of this. You can now leave this for setting in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And once set, you can slowly remove the mousse ring out and remove the parchment paper as well. And just before serving, you can always decorate it up a little bit. So I'm using some whipped cream and some more Oreo cookies to decorate this cheesecake. So wasn't this an easy recipe that you can prepare at home and serve to your loved one this Valentine's Day? In case you don't have a mousse ring and you want to serve it like a proper cheesecake, a bigger size, you can very well use a spring foam tin 
and then double up or triple the recipe and make it. So I hope you try this out this Valentine's Day.